Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, your host on Click Digest. And if you are an internet security freak but still want to use a cloud service, you can have your own cloud now. Yes, you need not pay hefty fee to use the cloud services online, which are anyways have their risk associated with them. They can be hacked and your private data can be left vulnerable. You can now have your own cloud thanks to Western Digital My Cloud Drive. Let me quickly unbox this thing, show you what it comes with and what it offers. So this is essentially a private cloud storage solution. What it does is this is a network storage device which hooks up to your storage network or the home network and then it will go on cloud. That means it is accessible from anywhere in the world and you can store your data on this drive. Once you have your file stored on this unit, you can access it from anywhere in the world, from any of the device, this becomes a cloud storage. And yes, you can password protect it, you can have multiple users created on this device and you can share the files depending on the need basis. It comes with an ethernet cable, this is a gigabit ethernet cable, some startup guides, warranty manuals and user manuals and there is a power supply unit which comes with it and there is a some extra converter so in case you are using it in a different location so it comes with a, a set of converters so you have US pin to Asian pin to European pin so you can simply replace this unit and plug it to any sort of connection that should not be a problem and this is a universal adapter so it will work with 100 volt to 240 volt supplies so you need not worry let me quickly hook this up uh, to my network and then talk further about the features. Before I plug in everything, let me show you this unit around. So this is like a small network assisted storage tower that you will see anywhere. It's compact, it's very easy to place and it will not take up much of your space on the desk. It has a high quality chassis. This is made up of high quality plastics. This is not metal, but it feels heavy because of the hard drives which are inside. On the rear, you have very simple and easy connectivity options. You have an ethernet port, uh, a USB port, which is used to connect external drives. I'll come back to that. And there is a power input. There's also a reset switch in case your unit goes bad. There is a pin hole you have to insert a pin and there is a Kennington lock port also provided in case uh, there are security threats of this thing being stolen physically. So to make it usable, all you need to do is attach the power here and attach an ethernet cable to the rear of this. This cable is hooked uh, to my router. So on that router, whatever network devices that I have will be able to access this device on network storage. So I have attached it here and you can see on my computer screen that I can access this drive under my network settings and this is showing up as free storage or unsecured storage. However, I can configure it very easily with a configuration utility. Now let me talk about this extra port which has been provided here. You can use it in two ways. This one comes in 2 terabyte internal storage by default and you can have 3, 4 and 6 terabyte models as well which come with higher capacity. This one costs around $140 which is very competitive for a private cloud storage and there is no recurring fee that you need to pay to use this because this is your own storage. Now this port can be used either to expand the capacity of this unit or you can use it as redundancy backup. What it means is that if this is a two terabyte unit, you can attach a two terabyte external hard drive here and whatever is inside this unit will be copied to the external unit as well. This means you always have a backup. If the hard drive inside goes bad at any time in future, you will still have your data on an external drive and you can take backup later on from that. This is a very useful feature and I recommend that you hook an external redundancy drive here. However, if the data is not that important and you do not need to worry about the data and you are already backing, it, backing up the data somewhere else as well, then you can use this port to expand the storage. Say you want four terabytes, but you have two terabytes inside, you can expand by adding a two terabyte external drive and have much more data. This connects to the internet using ethernet on the same network, you can access it on the network storage uh, areas. Apart from that, you also get applications from iOS as well as Android. So you can access the data stored on this device from any iOS or Android device. Also, it works on DLNA UF, UPnP protocol. So if you have a smart TV hooked to the same network, 
which this is connected to using the wired or wireless connect, uh, connections you can access it over the dlna devices like a smart tv or an xbox or a playstation and you can stream videos stored on this device anywhere you can also store data onto this remotely from anywhere in the world using a set of username and password and logging into this device whenever you are wherever you are this needs to be online for that so you can access data anywhere from anywhere and put data on this from anywhere this is retailing around 140 dollars and is a very good solution you can check out the official website for more tutorials as well as details i'll leave some links in the description section below so that you can see the tutorials on how to use this device this is all we have on a quick hands-on video and if you are looking to set up your own cloud storage this is a very good solution that you can purchase for not such an expensive price this comes with scalability so you can add some more data to it and it also comes with redundancy option if your data is very precious you can always hook up an external drive and add redundancy to it this is all i have on this video review if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for more such videos make sure you hit the subscribe button this is your host Rohit Purana signing off thanks for watching